Good day, everybody. This is Orange Flavor back again. Hope you're doing all right. You know, I just want to do this video and I want to show you something. This is my room. All right. It is made for two. So sleep on it. All right. So that would be my side and the side of my partner. Okay. This is just a little demonstration of how my room looks like. Because actually, I really don't sleep in this. Like, I'm not in here all the time. I just come here to sleep in here. See my Bibles. Lying there. Nowhere there. So there's uh, there's my notebook. And these are some things of my sisters. Ah, uh, just want to show you how. The flesh is a tricky place. Mm. When you are in the flesh, is so it can be so tricky. Oh yeah, it can. Now just imagine. For those that always weren't single, you know. Let me say it like this, okay? If you always had a relationship. Before you didn't know, have a relationship with God or shacking up, doing things that married people should have done and you always thought it was right. And then you really know the real way. The flesh can play really tricky games on you. It's gonna make, it's, sometimes the devil can come up cracking and saying, hey, listen, see this bed? I mean, you look good. You can bring any woman to this bed or every man to this bed and have fun. Or you can get into a relationship and do whatever married people do and get it going every night. Uh-huh. But with God on our side and if we are willing, because I always say this, if the, if there is a will, there is a way. So if there is a will for you to really do things the right way, you can. If there is a will to resist lust, there is a way for you. And you can do that. I mean, for real, it's really crazy. Sometimes you're just sitting there and then you have a dirty imaginations. <laughs> Why? Because we're in the flesh. Mm-hmm. We are in this flesh. These flesh can really, really just, you know, confuse us and make us do things that we shouldn't do. But I'm just here to encourage everybody. I mean, if you think that you just can't stay single, do things the right way and pray and ask God if you are made to be married or if you are made for marriage. Because, like... I've noticed marriage is not for everybody, people. Some people are just meant to stay single and focus on God so that that person would be more focused on the Lord. So marriage is not really for everybody. So if you always, uh, if you want to do a decision, ask God for it before you take any step like that. Because this flesh can make us do things that we shouldn't do. All because, all in the name of lust. Me and Mama Lisa were talking about this today. I mean, it's really crazy if you're single. And you would wish to do some things with a partner. Because the mind would be playing tricks on you. The only thing, <laughs> Mama Lisa, <laughs> Mama Lisa said we gotta make a sacrifice, <laughs> and I'm like, well, I'm gonna pray in tongues about that one. Uh huh. Well, but let, let, let me come back to the point. Yo, JT, I mean, you gotta help me out. I'm like Moses, just like Moses said. But God, you know, I'm not a good speaker, and God said I'm gonna let Aaron come with you. So, brother JT, you are my Aaron. You got to do this video better than me because, you know, it seems like I don't know what I'm saying or I don't know what I'm trying to say, but it's just that I'm really young or sometimes it 
things that I want to say don't really come up. So, bro, JT, if you see this video, Mama Lisa, any anybody, just, you know, hit me with a response and do it better for me. Because all of y'all can do better talking than me, but I just try. Um, yeah, like I was saying, um, we just have to pray if such things come our way because that's the only thing so that we will not let the warmth of the bed and how nice it looks with a nice fine man or a nice fine woman trick us and bring us back to sin so this is orange flair saying pray over lust if you're not married and wait on the lord to bless you with the partner that you need God bless you all. Always remember to stay easy.